Number 10. Belchen Tunnel in Switzerland This tunnel is a part of the A2 motorway and is supposedly haunted by the ghost of an old woman dressed in all white. The story goes that an old woman dressed in white hitchhikes along this road. She seems to appear out of nowhere and sometimes even speaks to the drivers. If she was picked up from the side of the road, she would disappear from the car while the driver drove through the tunnel. A reported sighting from two women saw this figure and picked her up off the side of the street. She warned them something bad was going to happen, then she vanished. Ghost to them, you could say. At number 9 now we have the Dark Hedges. You can find this road in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. It's often been described as hauntingly beautiful, a country road lined with old twisted beech trees. People say there's an old ghostly figure of a woman in a dress who glides along the road and then disappears when she passes the last beech tree. They say she's the ghost of a maid from the nearby manor who died in mysterious circumstances hundreds of years ago, or perhaps a wandering spirit from the nearby abandoned graveyard. Next up at number 8 now we have Sweet Hollow Road. This one is steeped in folklore. The road is found in Huntington, New York and leads to the equally talked about Mount Misery Road. That's actually his real name. The stories from this place date back hundreds of years. Some people say that Native American tribes there considered it to be a cursed area. The winding road is nearby to an old burned down mental asylum from the 1700s and some say the tormented spirits from there will often wander out into the road and terrify motorists at night. There's also the legend of the woman who died in a terrible car crash many years ago. Apparently if you park your car under the overpass there and leave it in neutral, her ghostly hands will push your car up the hill. A strong ghost, I guess, the best kind. Ok, next up at number 7 now we have Zombie Road. Now that's not its real name, that really would be terrifying. It's actually called Lawler Ford Road and winds on for about 2 miles in the thick woods of Missouri. The road is closed to the public half an hour after the sun goes down. Some people say that's actually for your own protection. The road runs near the largest Native American burial mound in America. People say their spirits haunt the road at night as well as the Confederate soldiers from the Civil War. The trail is completely black at night. There's no lights because you're not actually supposed to be there. This hasn't stopped people though over the years. Every year dozens of people get tickets there for trespassing. The tickets even say zombie road on them. So yeah, maybe there is some truth to the whole thing. Coming at number 6 now we have Shades of Death Road. Now this one really is the name of this road. Shades of Death Road runs through Warren County, New Jersey along Ghost Lake. Again, that's its real name. The road is famous for sightings of the prom girl. The story goes that years ago, a car of teenagers were driving down the road after a prom. The road was slippery that night and on one of the winding turns, the driver lost control of the car and crashed into a ditch. A girl died and people say that even now on a slippery dark night, you can see the girl standing by the side of the road, still wearing her torn up prom dress. Next up at number 5 now we have Highway 666. You've heard of Route 66, right? Well that famous road has has another road that branches off at its sixth junction called Highway 666. As you might expect, many people have reported strange happenings on that road. There have been reports of flaming trucks that speed towards motorists, forcing them off the road and then just disappearing into thin air. There's been so many crashes on this road that people attribute to the satanic name that its name was actually changed in 2003 to Route 491. Some say that wasn't enough though and that the curse still remains. And next up at number 4 now we have Clinton Road. This road lies not too far from New York and many people are aware of the creepy stories from people who have travelled it at night. It cuts through 10 miles of New Jersey and some say it's actually the scariest road in America. Stories involve the usual ghosts and satanic cults but also unique ones such as the Jersey Devil who people say stalks the old road there. There's also the story of the black truck. The vehicle apparently pulls up behind people at night, flashes its lights and then disappears into the darkness without a trace. Add to that the stories of UFOs, lights on the nearby water and snow in July and it's no surprise this road is a bit of a hotspot for paranormal investigators. Next up at number 3 now we have the A229. This road in South East England attracts paranormal investigators for one famous story, the woman in white. Drivers have reported seeing a woman in a white dress appearing in front of their car and then just vanishing as they pass through her. Locals say it's the ghost of a woman called Judith Langham who was tragically knocked 
knocked down on the road on her wedding day in 1965. Next up at number 2 now we have Boy Scout Lane. Sounds pretty innocent right? Well this rural road in Wisconsin has some less than innocent stories attached to it. According to local legend it gets its name from a tragedy that happened there years ago when a troop of Boy Scouts died there on a camping trip in the 1950s. Locals say the boys ghosts now haunt that lane. If you go there one day to check it out just be warned that the road is actually a dead end with no way out. Very fitting for a road with such a paranormal past. And finally number 1 now we have the street with no name. In the west side of Sydney, Australia lies the street with no name. Locals say it has an evil air to it at night with many people reporting an eerie presence. There's been stories of dogs and small children behaving very strangely there. Paranormal investigators say this is because they are less inhibited in their connection to the spirit world. All of this may be because of some of the horrific crimes that have taken place there over the years. Multiple murders and bodies being dumped in the nearby water. Whatever it is, it keeps horror tourists coming back to the street with no name. At number 10 we have Clinton Road. Alright we're gonna kick off this list with New Jersey as if they didn't already have enough to worry about. I mean I think the cast of the Jersey Shore is still running feral through the streets. Well this road has a whole bunch of bad juju surrounding it. There's a ton of ghost stuff going on over here. People have been performing satanic rituals in the forest surrounding the road. That's one thing that's going on. They should put up one of those crossing signs that they have for animals but then replace it with an assortment of demons. You don't want to be driving down the road and then hit a hell spawn at 60 miles per hour. It's probably going to do some major damage to your car and I'm pretty sure your insurance won't cover it. On top of that there's a turn called dead man's curve that has apparently claimed the lives of many people and if you manage to make it past that curve without spinning out like you hit a banana in Mario Kart then you're going to come to the ghost boy bridge where you can throw a coin off the bridge into the stream and a ghost boy will huck it back right at your face. Well we should get more of those ghost boys out there, throw them out into the ocean. They should be throwing garbage back at people. Number 9, A75 Kinmount Strait in Scotland. This highway is reportedly the most haunted in Scotland, with stories varying on what phantom things people see. Some see old women or cars they could hit before they disappear. Others saw pedestrians they thought they had hit, but when they got out of the car, there was no one to be found. One man, while driving, was stopped cold with what he thought was a parade of people, and then they just weren't there when he talked to other people. Many people have chills at the thought of driving on this road. An infamous and unusual sighting on this road was made by Derek and Norman Ferguson in 1962 where they witnessed great cats and other various creatures as well as a phantom furniture van. And okay, I get it if the cats and furniture van don't sound as scary as other things, but for those to be things that people reported as phantom and disappearing is what I find spooky about it, alright? Like I'll be avoiding that road in Scotland, thank you very much. Number 8, The Screaming Tunnel in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Canada. This one has so much notoriety that it was used in the filming of a Stephen King adaptation. And no, not it or it too, but The Dead Zone. So legend has it that if you stand in the tunnel and light a match, it will go out. Then you'll hear the screams of a dying girl. The dying girl supposedly is from a local story that has a few different versions. Story goes she lived in a farmhouse on the south side of the tunnel and one night her house caught fire. She ran away from her house with her clothes still on fire and made it all the way to the tunnel before she fell to the ground and died. So this is a road that maybe you will drive on but just keep going through the tunnel, don't get out, no need to push your luck, just keep pushing on. Number 7, Casablanca Tunnel in Indonesia. This underpass in East Jakarta, Indonesia is well known as an urban legend place by locals who say it was once a mass grave. On top of that, it has some of the highest amounts of reports of hauntings in all of the tunnels in Indonesia. Many of these settings are of a Pontianak. To keep us all on the same page, a Pontianak is a female vampiric ghost in Indonesian mythology. They are said to be the spirits of women who died while pregnant. Back to the tunnel, some drivers claim to see this ghost or Pontianak in white clothes waving at them. Getting closer, they could see it was a wrinkled old woman with one eye hanging out of its socket. This woman, apparently, was the victim of a horrible crime by criminals done long before the underpass was built and still haunts the tunnel. Another being haunting the tunnel? On full moons, it is rumored that there's a spirit of a hanged man at the entrance of the tunnel. Now, that's the third creepy tunnel I've talked about so far, so be wary of tunnels is what I'm taking out of this, honestly. Number 6, A616 Stockbridge Bypass in the United Kingdom. This bypass Bypass, past 
passes through quaint countryside, but it is well known for being one of the deadliest and most haunted places in the UK. When builders were building the road, starting in 1987, workers at the site had chilling experiences. First, there were strange sounds. Banging soins not typical to the area, voices, and the laughter of kids. Then sightings of apparitions. Two site security guards named Stephen Brooks and David Goldthorpe spotted children playing and dancing in the construction site while they were on patrol. Getting closer, they saw the kids were in old fashioned clothing and not paying them any mind. But when the guards were getting close enough to talk to the children, they apparently just blinked out of existence. No mark in the mud, no evidence, nada. Another time, on the same bypass, there was a monk in a robe that dissipated when drivers would pass through and there were other specters causing, you know, cars to veer. All of these paranormal experiences were repeated with more frequent sightings. This stretch of road has an unusually high concentration of traffic accidents. Maybe it's the heavy traffic or maybe the ghosts. On to number five, Devil's Washbowl Road, United States. When I think of Vermont, I think of skiing. But if you are familiar with the story of a 1971 dance in Northfield, you may think Pigman. On a stretch of the Devil's Washbowl Road, a pigman is rumored to run across the laneways. It was described in its first sighting as between 5'5 five five and 6 feet, naked and covered in white hair, walking on two legs with the face of a pig. The story goes that a fair-haired boy who lived on Darby Farm in the city went missing around the same time as pigman sightings started. There's no sure agreement on whether or not he was eaten by pigman or became pigman, but regardless, cats and dogs went missing, so this haunted road is one to be avoided for sure. Number four, Clinton Road in the United States. This road in New Jersey's folklore has everything. Sightings of ghosts, a kind of hellhound, gatherings of witches, Satanists and the Ku Klux Klan, aka everything you want to avoid. Rumor has it, professional killers dispose of bodies in the surrounding woods. There's even one reported case of this legitimately happening. Still thinking of driving around this one? How about you go near the Clinton Reservoir, near the bridge, and near a sharp dead man's curve and toss a coin into the water. Legend says, a boy will toss it back. Maybe you'll see his reflection or be pelted with coins too. That's what other stories say. There are other places in New Jersey to drive, so I recommend you stick to the shore. Was my bad accent? You're welcome. On to number three, Riverdale Road in United States. Located in Thornton, Colorado, Riverdale Road has even more lore attached to it than the previous Clinton Road I just talked about. To start, it has what people call the Gates of Hell. Apparently, the man who built these gates lost his mind when they were finished and burnt his mansion with his whole family inside. Never caught, never put on trial. Because of this, thrill seekers are drawn to the rusty gates, hoping to see the ghost of his wife, a lady in white. Driving by, she may appear in your rear view mirror. Or driving by, you may feel the ghost of an angry jogger hitting your car. This ghost is of a jogger who was hit on Riverdale Road and didn't make it. If you walk the road on foot, you may hear a heart beating footsteps that are attributed to this man. If that's not enough for you to steer clear of Riverdale Road, you may be distracted on some nights on a full moon by ghosts hanging from cottonwood trees that line the street. Not enough then? There's a spirit of a young boy that smears bloody handprints on every street sign that he walks past. That spirit of the young boy, it's because he was hit by a car on the way to school. Once the morning comes though, the bloody handprints, all gone. Lastly, you could be driving down Riverdale Road, minding the blind corners that can make it a little more dangerous, and you decide to offer a ride to a hitchhiker you spotted on the side of the road. But once you pull over, they disappear. And guess what? Surprise, one more. A phantom Camaro with one working headlight pulls up behind you, and it's the ghost of a driver from the 70s who tested their need for speed and ended up in a fatal crash. Those are all of the phantom things on that Colorado strip of road. So Colorado drivers or those passing through, just take another road and not the one sharing a name with the TV adaptation of Archie Comics. On to number two, Mount Misery Road and Sweet Hollow Road in the United States. Now, now this one's a two for one, located in New York nonetheless. Both Mount Misery and Sweet Hollow Roads are in West Hills County Park in the town of Huntington. Locals say there are many urban legends associated with the area, though these two droves drive right through them. Strange lights appearing on the road, livestock disappearances, mysterious creatures in the woods are all said to be a list of reasons indigenous groups and 
initially sold the land to settlers. Other sightings on these roads are reported to be Mothman sightings, which, if you are not familiar, is a tall humanoid figure with wings on its back, vaguely resembling a moth, and it has stories all over. Another is the legend of Mary's grave, the grave of a woman who murdered her husband and children. Supposedly, she's buried in the woods off Mount Misery Road. On her tombstone, there's a birth date, but no death date, and if you shine a flashlight on her tombstone at night, her face appears. See, my nan's name is Mary, and I like her face, so I'll think I'll avoid that road and take a trip to my nan's house instead for some tea and cookies. On to number one. Tuen Mun Road in Hong Kong. This congested highway was built in 1977, with numerous crashes happening over the years. This has been credited to both poor road design and the ghost sightings rumored to happen. According to folklore, the ghosts of previous crashes appear in front of a driver or in the middle of the road. These ghosts cause the drivers to swerve and avoid hitting who they think is a person, which then causes more accidents and crashes to happen on the already congested and accident prone highway. An example of this, in 2003, a bus had a crash and 21 people were killed. Some say they still see the spirits walking around the area. So Starting off at number 10 now, we have Bloods Point Road. This road in Illinois has a history involving murders, accidents, suicides, and even witchcraft. A lot of this seems to focus around the bridge at the end of the road. Apparently, if you follow it along towards the cemetery there at the end, you'll find the bridge above the train tracks. It's said that a school bus full of children once flew off the side of the bridge, killing all of the passengers on board. Now, they say this tragedy manifests itself today by cars being pushed across the bridge even when parked in neutral, with coming from the graveyard and a traffic light that always changes location. At number 9 we have Skipper's Canyon Road in New Zealand. Now for this list I'm kind of reaching into two categories. The first one being roads that are super haunted and have all sorts of ghouls running around trying to eat your face and steal your spark plug. And the second being roads that are so dangerous they're pretty much cursed because you have a good chance of dying while you're driving on them. And this one is the latter. Skipper's Road is one of the most dangerous roads on the planet. It's constantly falling apart with potholes that are big enough to fit a person to them. It's extremely narrow, there are sections of this road that are so tight two cars can't pass each other. If you meet another car, it's a game of chicken of who's gonna back up first. There's almost zero safety railings and on top of this, the road is carved into the side of a mountain. At number 8 we have Route 2A in Maine. So the next one is the best of both worlds. It's an extremely dangerous road with ghosts running amok. This road has been the end of many truckers. The roads get so icy and the lack of lights and railings mean you could drive right off into a ditch. There have been sightings of a ghost lady who walks up and down the highway begging for someone to help save her husband. At number 7 we have Patio Polo Peridakaki Road in Greece. Alright the next one we're going to head over to the country where the gods of Olympus themselves were conceived. This road in Greece is something you all should avoid unless you have the craving to meet a semi at 50 miles an hour head on. This road has a lot of crap to deal with. First, there's pretty much everything on it. Cars, trucks, semis, people, animals. It's a giant death fiesta. Second, there's a massive elevation change, around 500 meters. This is going to pop the hell out of your ears. Next, there's no road markings, no lines, no crosswalks. People driving at night often drive off the road to their death. And finally, the road is in as bad condition as an NFL running back's brain after a 14 year career. At number 6 we have Mona Lisa Drive in New Orleans. Alright we have a bit of an urban legend on this one. So legend has it that there was this beautiful girl who fell in love with a sailor boy. And then the two started having premarital sex. My god who would do such a thing? The young girl's father then killed her for this floozy behavior and now she walks up and down the road haunting young couples. Jealous much? At number 5 we have Luxor Al Huragata Road in Egypt. Now we're gonna jet all the way over to Egypt and go through the checklist of problems that this road has with it. So the Luxor Al Horgata Road is poorly maintained, which is kind of a given if you want to make it onto this list. On top of that, there are some stretches that are in some pretty busy cities, but then they go into some very remote places. Which means if anything happened to your car, you would be stuck baking in an Egyptian desert. And that's going to be in the middle of nowhere where someone's probably not going to come help you. And if dying from dehydration in a sandy wasteland wasn't enough, you could also come in contact with terrorists and bandits who are trying to rob you for everything you're worth. Now that has to be everything right? But wait, 
there's more. So let's say you have the bright idea of driving at night. So if your car breaks down, you won't be stuck in the sun, and so the bandits won't see you. Well, this is a terrible idea, because people will often drive this road with no headlights because they're afraid of getting hijacked, which means the chances of you having a head-on collision go up about tenfold. At number four, we have Shades of Death Road, New Jersey. I don't think you need any more warnings. The road is called Shades of Death. That's like if there was a dog named Castrator because he bit off people's balls. There's a bunch of rumors as to how this lovely road in New Jersey got its wonderful name. Some people say it's because the road is just dangerous and people crash there a lot. Other people say that bandits would hide there and murder people for sport and loot. I even heard that there was a malaria outbreak in a village next to the road. So maybe next time you want to drive down this road, you should just take the long way around instead of taking it, unless you want mosquito herpes. Maybe next time instead of taking this road, just take the long way around, unless you're keen on getting mosquito herpes. At number three, we have the Twin Nguyen Road, Hong Kong. Really, the surprising thing about this road is it's a pretty nice road. It was built by the British and has been really well maintained. Maybe the road is just so perfect that it drives people crazy and they jump out of their cars when they're on the highway. Or is it a hot spot for earthquakes and other natural disasters? No, it's actually much creepier than that. The Twin Men Road is a hot spot for ghost sightings. People driving will see ghosts just pop out like whack-a-mole. Ghosts appear out of nowhere and then scare the hell out of unsuspecting drivers. This will cause people to freak out and crash into each other. The ghosts on the bridge are literally directing traffic into each other. They're probably just lonely and they want more ghost friends to hang out with. They're like, hey, you're dead now, I'm dead, let's be friends and play this game called Cargo Smash Smash. At number two, we have Screaming Tunnel, Niagara, Ontario. Now this place sounds like a great date spot. So the legend of the Screaming Tunnel goes, if you're driving through and you decide to light a match, maybe you're smoking a cigar, or you're trying to impersonate Scarface. Well, you're in for a wonderful surprise. The match will go out, and then you'll be welcomed by the scream of a girl who is being murdered. Yeah, no thanks. I'm gonna continue my life screamless. The only screams I want to hear is when Whitney Houston hits the high notes in I Will Always Love You. At number one, you have the Stock Bridge Bypass. All right, we're gonna top off this list with something that's pretty spooky, if I do say so myself. The Stock Bridge Bypass death tolls only around 25 people. Now, that might not seem like a lot. Many of the roads on this list have killed way more people. You're probably wondering, Che, why did you pick this for the number one spot? Well, many people on this road have died not in a car crash, but they were found dead in their car. Some of the drivers seem like they veered off the road out of nowhere. So what's causing these spooky deaths? Well, it could be the ghost monk who is said to walk up and down the road attacking people. It couldn't just be a regular ghost. It had to be a monk ghost. Like he might know Kung Fu. I don't know what kind of monk he is. He might have a martial arts spirit or spirit martial art, some sort of ghost fighting thing. Or the reason the people could be dying is because they're distracted by the laughs of ghostly children that will creep out of nowhere, even when there's no children around. Yeah, ghost kids always moves you up the list. 